So you've, you've chosen to go next to St Lucia. What yes. made that something you wanted to do? Um, well, when I look for a project to go to, I go through the information that's on, on um, the People and Places website, obviously, and I tend to choose, obviously, where there's teachers required and places I would like to visit as well, because it's a two-way thing, really. Um, I get as much out of going to these places um, as I hope they receive something from me and I feel I get something in back. It's getting to live with the local community of a different culture um, and being part of that culture instead of being on a coach just um, seeing the sights, being part of that community is what's important to me. I felt that in Nepal as well. It was being part of the local community. So I was looking for somewhere different from Nepal, um, somewhere where maybe my experience and skills could be used. And La Sainte Lucia was one of the projects that I sort of honed in on. What are your expectations of St Lucia? Um, it's a very new project. Um, expectations, I, I'm always I'm always positive about anything I undertake, but I try to be realistic, particularly at the beginning of a project, um, as we were in Nepal, because you're, we're going out there to assess what needs to be doing um, and maybe to sort of start off, de help develop the, the, the project right at the beginning for other volunteers to build on. Um, I'm positive in the sense that I, I, I think I could contribute something. I know I will learn an awful lot because I did in Nepal um, and hopefully we can just build on that.